Good morning, everybody. Palm Springs, Cindy. I thought I would invite you to have coffee with me this morning. I have coffee brewing over there. In fact, I want to I share with you while I'm going to get a cup of coffee. Um, these, this is my little coffee tray. And these, these were my mom's Limoges. She had several of them and my sisters and I split them up. Then this was hers and I used this for my, I keep my coffee in there. And then this is just, as you can see, a tiny little coffee pot because it's just me. It's just me here in the mornings. I just woke up um, and I don't, I'm a mess and I don't care. <laughs> so, okay, what else can I, oh, I'm so excited you guys. Uh, let me show you what arrived. Hold, let me show you what arrived. Oops. Look at Poppy over there. She can smell the coffee. She's sitting up. She's ready. Ready for her. What she thinks is going to be her breakfast. Which is nothing <laughs> but kibble. I want to share with you guys what arrived yesterday and what I used. But first I have to share the backstory with you. And it may mean I have to go get my coffee. When it was Easter and my niece was here, my, my niece and my goddaughter, the mother of the two little darling girls, she had said that, I, I mentioned, oh, my nails were just a mess because I dread and I put off going to get my nails done. Because, you know, for years I have those acrylic nails and then I put gel, or they do gel polish on them. I get a pedicure, I get my eyebrows waxed. I used to do it like every two and a half, three weeks, but the price after COVID prices went up so much, I do it, stretch it out to once a month. And it's like $160 every time I go, maybe more, which is way too much. Plus I dread going the, um, it's painful. The the places they're all um, Vietnamese owned uh, nail salons, and uh, you know some of them can be very heavy handed, especially if you get a man. And oftentimes I've like said, oh, you know, like can I wait for a woman? And they don't like that. And so anyway, it's not pleasurable. Something that should be pleasurable, especially if it costs that much. Okay. Okay, you guys, come on, let's go get a cup of coffee. Okay, coffee's ready. So my niece, my nails were a mess at Easter and she said she had been, she says, I've stopped going to the nail salons because uh, they're too expensive and it's just, she's a new mother and two little girls. So, you know, she thought she could live without the long nails. I always forget if this drips when I pull it out or not. I always pour just half a cup of coffee so that it stays hot. So she said, maybe we'll sit outside. So she said she has stopped going and that she bought herself um, from Amazon her own nail kit and it's a gel nail kit. Let's see, where can I sit when the sun's the best? It's like seven o'clock in the morning. And I said, are you kidding me? And so she showed me her nails. They look great. And I said, are you kidding me? And she said, nope. And she, uh, she said, she, uh, her nails look great. And they were short, but they were, you know, well manicured. And anyway, I said, well, gel nails, they need that light, you know, that you, that you put your hand under. She said, it comes with the light. And um, and she said, I said, is it hard? She said, it's easy. It's like $40. So anyway, I bought one. Because like I said, I hate going to the nail salons. And the last time I, the second to the last time I was there, they charged me, I think I told you, they charged me $24 for my brow and upper lip wax outrageous and the and my pedicure 
and manicure, like I said, it, it comes out to be like over $150. It, they always change. I don't, I don't understand why it says one price on the menu, but then somehow it always goes up. So, all right, it had been a, it had been a while since I had my nails done, but I was irritated because as much as I paid for that, my, my nails started lifting. <laughs> my nails look so bad. I bought those press on nails. So I put, I had, I had my acrylics, but my acrylics had lifted. And so I had pulled some off and some of them were pulled off. Some of them were halfway pulled off because I couldn't get them all the way off. And I bought those um, because I was playing bridge and canasta and my aunt, my fingers looked horrible. So I bought some of those press on nails. So now I have press on nails, which were fine, but then they, a couple of those popped off. So my, uh, my I was a mess. So I went in, it was time for my manicure. So I went in and I said, can you just take everything off my nails? Which they did. And I and just give me a regular manicure with no uh, polish. That's what, and so that's what they did. And then I got a pedicure and, and I, and I said, he goes, and he said, oh, you'll be, oh, I'll see you next time. And, you know, I remember you from last time or whatever. And I said, you know what? I, I'm not really coming back anymore because um, it's too expensive and 24 you charged me 24 dollars to get my eyebrows waxed that's crazy and I said my nails lifted last time anyway and I said now I probably will be back for my pedicures but other than that you know I'm 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 gonna try not to have get my nails done anymore it's not a affordable luxury okay so I have to show you um the gel nail kit it came okay here are my nails i did them yesterday i mean obviously you know they pulled everything off they cut them way down filed them and but there is a little bit of a problem look at this uh, this happened last night so i'm not sure i did i didn't really this hand i messed up on i didn't follow directions I thought I did, but of course, you know, I, I just was, oh yeah, I know what that means. <laughs> well, it didn't mean that. I don't know. Every morning, our routine is we wake up, pop, Poppy, hey, hey, she just gets in the barking zone. Every morning we get up and Poppy goes straight to the hall door and she wants me to come sit out here with her. And I have video of it like this. She'll sit down and she sunbathes. She comes out, it's too early for the sun to, sun to be on the, on the couch right now, but she comes out here and she has to have me with her. Great. And so I, I lay on this couch, I lay on that couch and she lays on that, cou that couch. So she's on my couch right now so she can be close to me and she, and see how she always gets cozy with the pillows. She knows, she knows what cozy is every morning. And she just, she's so excited to come. And all she does is she runs out here and she gets on the couch and she just say, sits there in the sun, soaking up that heat. She won't come out by herself. She insists that I come with her. And um, I would love for her to come out by herself, but no no such luck. So anyway, that's, our, that's what we do first thing in the morning is our patio sunbathing. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> All right, I'm taking you guys to, sh to see my um, poppy. You wanna go show them the nail kit? Let's go show them the nail kit. Or you can stay out here, it's okay. Yeah, you can, whenever you want, sweetheart. Oh, you're gonna come with me, okay. All righty, here it is. See this, I did laundry. I draped some of my uh, maxis, um, sundresses over there. Okay, all my stuff's sitting as it was last night, including my purse. This, these are the directions that you follow right here. So the first thing is you have to make sure your nails are clean and dry. 
So the first thing you do is put the primer on. This is the nail primer. Then it says, do not wait for it to dry. And before it's dry, and well, it's still a bit sticky, then you put on the base coat. So here's the base coat. Then it, then it says, put, now put your hands under the light for 60 seconds. Okay, take your hands out and apply your polish. And this was the polish that I used because it matched the ones on my, the color on my toes. Then after you put your polish on, you put your hand back under the light for another 60 seconds. Then here's where I made a mistake. Then here, here it says repeat steps one, let's see. It says repeat steps three and four. Well, what I did is I started, I started, I thought it said one to four. So that's, that might be why this started peeling off. The rest of it is still on. Okay, so then it says repeat steps three and four. So, so now I go back to, I go back to here, another 30 seconds. I put another coat and then I was, I put, back under the light. And then after that, I put the top coat on. And that's it. So, you know, it's, it was pretty easy. Just follow those directions. You can see my, like this is gel polish. So I may have to, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. This row is if you wanna put a little jewel on your nails how you do that. Well, I don't care about that. And this is, that side tells you, you know, wash your hands, make sure they're dry. And then they give you, they give you all this equipment. Um, you know, all this stuff, like this would be if you want to put a little decal. And they have the decals here. And they have the buffers and the, and the files and the cuticle removers. So they, they give you a lot of equipment, which I probably won't be using a ton of. Mostly is this. Then this is all uh, replaceable. You know, when you're done or you want different colors, you get different colors. You can, you buy more primer, top coat, base coat. And Poppy, I don't know, but if you remember my last video for Easter, I had my grand nieces. Well, uh, when I go to the beach, I'm gonna take Poppy and. I'm gonna take Poppy to their house. She's gonna spend a few days with the little girls. And so that's my morning. I'm gonna hang up so I can get packing. Now, um, and then we got back to my brother's and he cooked a, a, these pork chops that were so good and this cornbread so good and roasted vegetables. So we had a great dinner and got caught up on our conversation. And tomorrow, um, we're going to, I think my sister-in-law and I are going to walk Balboa Island. And I said, I wanted to go to the bay and just sit and enjoy the sun. And they said, I think it's going to rain tomorrow. So it's like, oh, okay then. So we're going to, uh, so we'll go to Balboa, we'll, we'll go to Balboa Island and check it out. Well, we, um, we got home from Balboa Island. I ended up buying, um, Oh my gosh, there's this one store that I absolutely love and it's, well, I took videos. And so when I show you the video of the store and the merchandise in the store, you're going to know exactly why I love it so much.
Sitting on the sidelines Watching life go by But now I hear something That sounds like a love song From the birds in the sky Seems I'm falling Island um, garage sale situation where evidently it's in the paper. All the merchants we went to today reminded us of it that everybody on the island opens their garage doors and they put their wares or whatever it is they want to sell out out of out on their in their garage, and so people just walk up and down and. And Balboa Island is an island, and so they and it's uh, very hard to find a parking spot. So we are Mary and I are going to end up. We're going to take the um, the little oh gosh ferry over, and we're going to take a. She has a little red wagon that her grandkids play with, but we're going to take that with us, and then if we buy something, we can put it in the wagon. But here's the bad news. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. So we don't know, you know, we don't know if we're going to, what we're going to wake up to. I'm going to hope, I'm hoping to get this video wrapped up. P.S. I love you guys. <laughs> Until our next conversation. Bye-bye.